Hi. Do you know what? I met a young man one time, 23. You can see it right there. My brother is so good. Hi, good morning. I hope you're well. I actually hope you're doing better than I am because I haven't been well these past couple of days. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't been too well. I'm slightly getting better, so that's a good thing. And I also kind of hurt myself at the gym, so it's been one thing after the other. <laughs> Today I flipped on, flipped on. Yeah, my camera is a flip camera, so when I say flipped on, that's pretty much what I'm talking about. But I turned on my camera because I'm trying to pick myself up because I don't like being sick. That's one. Two, I don't like being unproductive. I mean, there are times that I would just rest, lay down, all of that. And I've done that in the past, like for the past two days. And at this point, it's gotten to a point where I feel like I'm just wasting my time that I'm not gonna get back. So I want to pick myself up and do something. And do you know the sad thing? If you're not new to the channel, or if you've been around for like a minute, you know that I'm trying to lose some weight because so many reasons. But when I get sick, you know how people get sick? You know how people fall sick and they don't have the appetite for food and all of that? Me? When I fall sick, I have the appetite for food. It is at that point that I will start craving a lot of crazy things that don't even make sense. So for the past two days, I've been eating frequently, eating a lot of combinations. It's been crazy. It was about to start today. I was like, no, I have to put my foot down because I don't know what is going on. Yeah, that's like also one other thing. This weekend is going to be an interesting weekend. I was invited for something, we'll talk about it soon. And I don't want my mood or my demeanor to mess up my promising weekend, so I'm picking myself up. Yeah, if you're new here, hi. My name is Impua, just in case I didn't already mention. And on this channel, we have conversations about money, about how to improve on our lives and the quality of our lives. And then I also share bits and pieces of how I'm navigating life as a fairly young woman living alone in a car. So you're welcome and I hope you stick around for longer. Okay, that's the little push I think I needed. I'll see you soon. A few moments later. Hi, I think the camera is about to. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like it's about to <laughs> off the tripod. Yeah, so I managed to pick myself up and write a script, and I got something to eat, so I have to take my medicine and all of that. Why is this baby always crying in my videos? Now I'm making up, and I'm about to film a video, and about to put my lashes on. I've forgotten the name of the lash brand. But I think someone randomly asked about my lashes. I'm like, I wear lashes like once. Never in a vlog. Okay, not never. Sometimes in a vlog when I'm doing something. And then usually when I sit down to film. Today's, today's I think I'll be able to shoot two or film two videos if I can. At least that's the plan. I've forgotten the name of the lash brand, but that's what it looks like. This is what... My hands are ashy, so please forgive it. This is the one I'm wearing today for today's video. So yeah, I was randomly looking for something to wear, right? And I just realized that I have pretty much worn every decent thing that is decent enough for camera on my channel. So at this point, we are on rotation. I'm sure you've... Oh my God, please don't mess up my shirt. Glue. I'm sure you've seen multiple outfits on repeat on the channel. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I don't care for re repetition police or whatever it is called. They're my clothes and I would wear them as many times as I please. But I was also just thinking about the fact that I actually haven't bought any clothes since like June this year. Yeah, I bought some clothes at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I got some things from Pretty Little Thing. And I got some more things from PLT. Maybe in July. Yeah. But after that, I haven't bought any new clothes ever since. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shock to me. Not, not because I'm always buying stuff, to be honest. 
but i would usually buy something at least once a month i'd have bought like one or two clothes and i think the reason i haven't even bought any clothes this year that many clothes this year is because i have been making a conscious effort to stay off instagram <laughs> And I would usually buy stuff because I saw them on Instagram. So I'll be scrolling through Instagram and I'll see a shop or, you know, someone selling something. And I'll end up buying it. But because I'm making a conscious effort to stay off Instagram, I don't see those ads anymore. And since September, I've pretty much deleted my Instagram app. And I'll just randomly download if I need to get something done. And then I'll be off again. So... That's pretty much why I haven't bought anything this new year. Anyway, December is around the corner. I think I'm actually due for new clothes because I've been wearing it some of some of my clothes too many times. So that needs to change. And I also like kinda need to switch things up a bit on the channel, you know. Make it a little bit more exciting. Not like it's not exciting already. But yeah, watch the ads please. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I land on like some really big bugs and have like a massive haul. That would be nice. The way I struggle to put on lashes. I didn't even trim this one so. Do you know what? This Christmas I'm going to try. Why am I talking about it? Forget Christmas. It's not even a Christmas thing. I'm going to try getting semi-permanent lashes. So that we can stop this strip lash wahala. Because what is this? This is the ghetto. Okay, okay. It's worked. It's worked a bit. Now I need to like clean around it and all of that. Wow. This is what it looks like the lashes. I can't wait to get like semi-permanent lashes and see what it will look like on my face. But yeah, this is what you're looking like. It's, it's a little, yeah, it's like two o'clock. So I'm just going to fix the situation on my face. Film the videos and I'll see you later on. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in three, two, one. The rain sounds like it's going to be very, very, very heavy which I love. If you're not new to the channel, you know that I love the rain. But I'm very sad because I actually wanted to go to the gym today. That's not gonna happen. That's looking very unlikely. It's currently just 5.30ish. So I would wait for an hour and see if the rain stops. Then I can go to the gym. But for now, I'm just going to pack up my setup I switched up my setup a bit for these two videos that I filmed today. So I'm just going to pack it up, find something to eat. I want to eat, I want to eat something with eggs. So I would go make something with eggs and then I would eat that while I wait for the rain to stop. But yeah, the girl is back, the energy is back. She's in a good mood and it's raining. So that's like the icing on the cake.
absence of a sincere heart, he needed to call the human out of the assistance of the spirit. He lost strength. And a man had to assist him. I, I, I was an athlete. I used to run a lot. Hallelujah. Yesterday the rain went on and on and on. <laughs> so um, I didn't go to the gym. So it's been like one week of no gym. I feel I I feel bad because yeah, it's almost like I've let my body backslide, if you get what I mean. But then a part of me is also grateful for the rest I got because because I hurt myself and I was sick. I've been able to get more rest than I would usually get because I've just been resting. But that also meant that my eating was all over the place. So it's like a win. That's a mosquito. So, so it's like a win. But then it's not a win. It's, it's, it'd be tense. Today I've done some cleaning. I packed my food from last night, put them in containers, put them in the fridge. And now I'm going to go to the gym. I want to, yeah, it's like seven o'clock. So I want to hurry up and go to the gym. I want to go home. When I say home, I'm talking about my mom, my, my mom, my dad's, my mom and dad, my dad's house. <laughs> so yeah, I want to go home, go see my parents and my brothers. I also have to pick up some things. So yeah, go spend time with them all of that stuff but i want to at least work out first and then yeah this morning i'm drinking some green tea and lemon because last week when i was not well i had eaten basa basa eating anything and everything so i'm trying to kind of do like a cleanse you get it if you watch my weight loss diaries i give updates every two weeks and this coming week is where you get the update so you can if you're interested in all that information you can just wait on the updates and you would get over there but yeah that's what this morning is looking like And he comes to Jesus and said, in fact, 
to show you I am not distracted by my wealth. Let's talk about issues of eternity. Does that look like our generation? Lord, I love you. I'm not even distracted by the money. I'm not even distracted by the fame. I love you, Jesus. I'm, I'm focused on eternity. Good master, I know that I'm rich. I know that I'm young. I know that I'm a ruler, but I come to you. Let's not talk about wealth. Let's not talk about time. Let's not talk about influence. Let's talk about eternity. And Jesus says, leave the issue of eternity. I need to address something about your heart. You are sincere, but the side effect of having plenty, something has happened to you. And you will never believe if I told you, if Jesus just said, you have a problem with your heart, you say no. Remember, when Jesus told him, have you kept the law? He said, I'm blameless, I've kept the law. But he said, there's something. I will have to create a scenario in your life that will bring you to a position where you are forced to admit. So, he gives you a very strange instruction, like go and empty your bank account. And you say, I didn't hear you in the name of Jesus. God does not work like that. I rebuke this kind of demonic spirit by November, asking me to empty my account. It can't be the will of God. I can tell you it's not the account. He's showing you something within your heart. Please hear me. As flawless as this generation looks, as excellent as we look, the master is still saying, be careful. One thing thou lackest. This generation no longer has a problem with prayer. God has helped us. We no longer have a problem with fasting. God has helped us. This generation does not have a problem with wealth. There are people, there are tech giants who are rising. There are all kinds of people. I met a young man one time, 23. He's, he was an associate professor, 23. 23 years. I couldn't believe it. Associate professor from a reputable university, not, not just uh, 23. Here comes the marker himself. He says, young generation, you have done well, but one thing, let's go back to the heart. More than the prayers, let's go back to the heart. What is really fueling the desire to have more likes? What is really fueling the desire to have more invitations? What is really fueling the desire for more money? Oh God is for your glory, I agree. Thank God is for my glory. I'm the one who's for his glory. I'm looking at your heart now and I'm saying let's go back to the drawing board. to the gym was great i i didn't feel like my muscle memory forgot anything i could still do everything just fine so that was very refreshing why am i glowing i have slathered a generous amount of sunscreen on my face because i'm about to step out i'm actually going home to my mom and dad and my brothers i've packed my bag i think i mentioned it earlier didn't I? so yeah i've done all of that and i'm gonna go this time I wanna go, I'm going to fight the edge to to not eat any of the delicious meals my mommy would always make. I'll see you when I come back. I don't vlog when I get home. 
mainly because i don't want to be distracted by the camera you know i'm not always with my family so when i go there i want to be present i want to enjoy their company because i am fully and entirely grateful for them so i'll see you when i get back saturday i think i mentioned that i've been invited for something i'm sure you've seen in the title i have a few reservations about it when i come back i will talk about it so stay tuned <laughs> so i've been home for a short while and see my people and i got back about an hour ago I've just been like on my phone watching stuff trying to relax because I can almost feel a headache brewing so I'm doing my best to to not trigger any form of headache whatsoever I didn't mention the thing I was invited to did I okay let me fill you in so in 2015 which is about seven years ago i auditioned to be part of a beauty pageant which is miss malika ghana i was this shy timid person that could not look people in the eye and after living with that for god knows how long i decided that i had had enough and that i was not gonna let that be my portion anymore so in my mind <laughs> the thing that made sense at the time was to audition for a beauty pageant like put myself out there out there go big or go home <laughs> yep that's what i did so i went and i auditioned i was shaking like a chicken like a wet chicken so i made it through the audition of the stages i made it to the finals i was like what is going on <laughs> So I made the final. In the final, we're usually 10 girls. So 10 of us made it to the final. And then at the final stage, they would usually um, pick five girls to make it to like the final, final, like the grand finale. So, yeah. They call out the names for the girls that made it for the grand finale. And I was also there. <laughs> top five i was like oh my god who would have known the all that did all the kineko and kineko <laughs> yeah unfortunately i didn't win <laughs> unfortunately or fortunately because could have spun different ways but but i wasn't like the winner of the competition no i was not i came in second runner up but to have come from being the girl who couldn't stand in front of a class of 50 people to speak to going to standing in front of hundreds of people i don't know about five judges all these other girls and getting all the way to the top is something i'm so proud of myself for doing all that is to say that that same beauty pageant i auditioned for seven years ago has invited me for their 20th anniversary since their inception and their homecoming um what do they call it they called it the homecoming celebration so i guess all the queens that are available like the past queens would be present today maybe maybe not so yeah that's the invitation i've been talking about for some time i got a dress made my brother made the most gorgeous dress for me so i'll show you the dress soon but i want to spend the rest of my afternoon relaxing doing some work the program is supposed to start at eight you can see it right there and this is like my cute little invitation
Hey, we boy, now we are just. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, I'm right here. It's currently four o'clock. <laughs> the event is supposed to start at eight. Why am I dressed? I'm not dressed. Let's start there. But yeah, I'm not dressed. I'm trying to pick up. I'm pretty much looking at the dress, trying to find the right way to style it. Except I've already started setting myself up for, I don't want to say the word, but first of all, my hair. Let's start with the hair. My hair is quite basic for a glammed up event, right? My dress is not basic though, it's cute. <laughs> and they told me about the event almost immediately after I got my hair done. And if you saw the trouble I went through, it was not that bad to be honest. But if you know the ordeal surrounding or around getting this hair done, you know that I was not going to take off my hair, which is less than a week old for this. Unfortunately, I am not. So I have to find a way to make this hair look glam. Number one. Number two is my face. <laughs> I have a cute face, I know. <laughs> but... My makeup skills are not like top, top. They are not up there. So I need a lot of time to kind of have a decent glammed up face. And then the shoes. I have this gorgeous dress, which my brother made. My brother, yeah. My brother made this beautiful dress. What? Talented family members. Anyway, I don't know what to wear with the, with the dress. I have the perfect good heel that would work with this dress. But guess what? It is a good six inch or maybe five or four inches tall, long, however you describe heels. I'm not, I'm actually not going to wear a six inch heel. No. Yeah, I have the perfect nude heels, those glassy heels but they're my parent house <laughs> I, I didn't pack all my shoes because i was like you know just in case i need to dress up from there sometime which has never happened so i left some of my shoes i also have like strappy wide heels those are also there so all i have are like these three heels one of them is disqualified automatically and now all i have are these two heels this speckled sparkly one and then this white one i tried on the white one was a disaster so it's looking like the gold the sparkly one is the one i can wear so this is me going through makeup goes um youtube trying to like find a glam picture that i like and hopefully i can copy that but yeah i'm starting early i'm starting at four o'clock so that i can know exactly what i'm doing with myself before it's too late i also invited um i also have a date i invited someone to come along with me so you would see the person very soon but let me sort myself out One thing about me, I'm gonna look good. <laughs> I like my look. Let me turn off my fan. 
put it on one because I don't want to sweat. Do we love it? I love how I look. My hair's a bit shaky. I don't want to pin this because it will mess with my look. How do I, where do I place this mic? I'm just going to hold it. But <clears throat> my hair is looking cute. I feel like it's a little bit extra. You know, I do want to go with like just a boring pony braided <sighs> corn ponytail. So I feel like this works just fine. <laughs> I feel good. I look good. I hate that I'm already starting to sweat. So that's like annoying. But I'm just going to do everything slow. I've really taken my time. I'm waiting to meet my friend. She would probably leave home in a bit. It's seven already. So She's going to leave home very soon and I'll meet her and then we'll go together. So I'm going to do things really slowly. I finished on time and since like part of my body is out, I went to glisten it a bit. <laughs> I've had this MAC. I've had it for so long. I tried trying, I tried finding the expiry date. I can't find it. So I don't know. But also ignore how crusty the bottle is it's, it's been with me for like three years and i haven't used it a lot because i'm not always like i don't do glam glam stuff so i've not had the need to have like shiny body but this is what it looks like <laughs> and i'm going to slather it onto every part of my body that shows but let me show you what it looks like also let me test it because it's been a while so let's test it out together so this is my hand without the product and i'm just going to put a little bit like that oh that's not a little that's a lot so this is what it looks like and i'm just going to you see do you see what it has this pink ish finish that glows so just massage it and it also um it looks white i think it was made for people with lighter skin or i just have to massage it some more here let me look so this is the hand with the thing and this is without should i just use baby oil to get my shine on or should i go with this unfortunately it will be too late whatever your answer is you know like i mean you can answer for future events but for today i won't be able to get your response so i don't know i don't know oh, i'm really feeling myself <laughs> let me give you a 360 let me give you a nice 360 look at the details wow 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 my brother is so good. I'm so proud of him. I pray that he pursues this thing like professionally because this is like, this is the first dress he's ever made for anybody. Also, like, kudos to me because I, I trusted him. You know, when support your siblings, not with your mouth, you know, <laughs> put, put something that is high risk in their hand to prove that you trust them don't go and do something bizarre but imagine if you had messed up the stress the whole thing would have been messed up but then the stakes were high i was like you know what i trust you and he came through for me i'm so happy I'm not even happy about the dress i'm just so proud of him chrissy if you watch this i am so proud of you you're amazing you're going to do great things okay let me give you my 360 now ladies and gentlemen i present to you Miss Inchua, Miss Malaika Ghana 2015, second runner up. <laughs> I know it's going through my mind, y'all. <laughs> I decided to go for these shoes. They are not the most comfortable, but they are the ones that could work with this dress here. Yeah? And they have like the shortest heel possible, so no stress whatsoever. So, yeah. Hey. Staring at your dress cause it's see through Yeah, talking out of shit that you done been through Yeah, say that you a lesbian, girl, me too Hey, girls want girls where I'm from Hey, yeah, girls want girls Girls want girls where I'm from
to go away today. Oh. Yeah. Baby